a warm welcome for everyone to the session number 21 in the part of react learning series in this session we will discuss about higher order components in react higher order component aka hoc is an advanced technique in react used for reusing component logic higher order component is a function that takes a component as its input and returns a new component let's look at one example assuming that we are developing an admin dashboard which will show employee data department data and project data in the form of reports we will have our rest api which will be giving us this data and the react application should display this data in the form of reports by fetching the data from api let's see how can we do this in react we will use the same rest api we have developed in our previous videos let's open the asp.net web api we have created using visual studio code this api project is having one controller class called as employee controller and we have a method called as get all which is returning the list of employees and this api project is also having another class called as department controller from which we are returning the list of departments employee controller returns the employees data and department controller returns the department data let's run this api project this is the url where our api is running we can try to access our employees data we say slash api slash employee as we can see here we have the list of employees here now if we want department data we go to the url and instead of employee we say dept that will give us the list of departments now let's open index.js file from our demo project using visual studio code here we will create three component classes they are admin dashboard employee reports component and department reports component employee reports component will have the code to call the employee api get the data and display the data department reports component will have the code to get the department's data and display them admin dashboard will be calling these two components and display both the reports and finally we will call our admin dashboard component and we will render it to our root container i have the code handy and i am pasting it here as we can see here we have a class called as employee reports which is extending from react component class and we have a constructor defined and we have a state object created and that object has a property called as employees and we have initialized that to empty array and we have implemented a life cycle method called as component did mount in which we are sending the request to our api when we get the data we are updating our state object using this dot set state method and we have implemented render method in which we are displaying the employee data in a table then we have a class called as department reports which is doing the same job but instead of displaying the list of employees this will display the department data and here we are displaying department id department name and the revenue then we have admin dashboard class which is calling employee reports component as well as department reports component then we are calling our admin dashboard component and we are rendering it let's save these changes let's navigate to the browser let's open a new tab we say localhost colon 3000 and then press enter now we can see both employees data as well as the department data now if we look at our employee reports component class we are sending a request to employee api getting the list of employees and displaying the data and if we look at department reports component class we are sending a request to department api getting the data and displaying the data but if we look at these two component classes at high level they both are doing the same job they are sending a api request getting the reports data and displaying the reports but we have written the code separately for both the component classes why can't we reuse the code instead of repeating the code again and again this is where higher order components comes into picture remember that higher order component is a function that takes a component as its input and returns a new component now let's delete both employee reports component class as well as department reports component class i have selected both the classes and i am deleting this code let's create a function here and i name this function as reports hoc and this function accepts two input parameters first one is the input component which we pass to this function so let's name it as input component and the second parameter is the input object using which we will pass the information like the api url and how many columns we want in the reports and any other component specific data so we name the parameter as input data as we know that higher order component takes a component as an input and returns a new component so let's return a component class so we say return class extends react dot 
component let's add a constructor and we will call the base class constructor let's create the state object and to this state object let us add a property called as data and we initialize this data to empty array and then columns we will get the value for these columns from our input data object input data dot columns followed by header and we get this header information as well from our input data object let's implement component did mount method in which we will write the code to send the api request i have the code handy and i am pasting it here as we can see here we are sending a api request using fetch method and we are passing the url which we receive from our input data object and then we are updating the result into our state object using this dot set state method this data property of our state object will be holding the output of our api now let's implement render method we say return and from here we will call another component which is responsible for displaying the data and to that component we will pass the state object data through the properties so we say data is equals to this dot state we are calling a component called as data component and to that component we are passing our state object through a property called as data now let's go ahead and implement a component called as data component so we say class data which extends react dot component class let's add a constructor to this class and we will call the base class constructor let us implement render method let's return a div container and within this div container let us display the header data using h2 tag we will access the header value through the data property which is passed to this component so we say this dot props dot data dot header next we will display the data in a table so let's add a table within this table let us add one table row and within this table row we will display the column names as the header to get the columns let us loop through the columns property so we say this dot props dot data dot this data has a property called as columns and we use a function called as map and we will pass an arrow function and within this map function we say th and we display the column name next let's add table body let's loop through the result data which we get from our api so we say this dot props dot data dot the property name is data and we use a function called as map and we write an arrow function and within this map function let us add a table row and to this table row let's pass the key r dot id and for every row let's loop through the columns data dot columns dot map let's add one td and within this td let us display the cell value here r represents the row and c represents the column we are looping through the rows and then for every row we are looping through the columns and we are displaying that respective column value with this we are done with displaying the data in a table let's go ahead and create one more component class called as reports component class reports and it extends react dot component class let us add the constructor let us implement render method let's return a div container now we will create all the report component classes which are required for our project first let's start with employee reports so we say const employee reports is equals to we will call our reports hvc function here and this function is asking us to pass two inputs first one is the input component and the second one is the input data object we will pass reports as our input component name and we have to pass the input object which contains url columns and the header i have the object available handy and i am pasting that object here as we can see here this object has three properties url columns and header we are calling a function which takes an input component and returns a new component and we have assigned it to employee reports with this we have created our employee reports component now let's see how easy it becomes to generate department reports component as well we call the same reports hvc function and we generate a new component called as department reports component i have changed the url and i have changed the number of columns we wanted and i have changed the header text as well and we are calling this employee reports component as well as department reports component from our admin dashboard now we can repeat the same for any number of report components we want to generate let's save these changes let's navigate to the browser and we can see that 
both employee data and department data are being displayed here. Developing the higher order component looks little confusing in the beginning, but if we understand, it helps us to write far better code and make our code more reusable. Using HOCs are common in any enterprise application we develop using React. Let's take a look at the code what we have written again. We have created a function called as reports HOC, which is taking input component and input data as the parameters. And we are creating a component here and we are returning that component. And we have implemented component did mount lifecycle method and we are rendering a component called as data. And that data component is responsible to display the data in a table. And we have created reports component class, which we will be using as an input component to our reports HOC function. We are calling our reports HOC function, assigning it to employee reports, and we are repeating the same for department reports. At the end, admin dashboard is calling both employee reports as well as department reports. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.